All right, today we're gonna make ourselves a little chicken incubator. First thing we did was buy a dimmer here, which you can get at Amazon uh, through the link description below. I like this dimmer because it has a closed back and so you don't have to actually put it in a box to use it. Uh, I just used a cord here from a, an Apple uh, charger and took out my three wires, the white, green, and black, hooked them up to my light bulb socket here and a light bulb. This is a 40 watt bulb. It might be a little bit too uh, hot, but we'll, we're, that's what we're gonna figure out once we get it in this box. Uh, this box should easily be able to handle uh, the 12 eggs that we're gonna start with. Probably be able to fit 18 in here. Um, and it's a styrofoam box. And we have a plexiglass window here so that we can see uh, inside. This blue stuff is just protective covering. It peels right off. You can pick this up at Home Depot. I'm sure you can get it at Amazon too. And this is a little temperature humidity sensor. And we're gonna stick this inside in such a place that when we put the window here, we can see that and make sure we see the temperature and the humidity at the same time. So let's go ahead and cut, start cutting some holes. So we made a mess. A styrofoam made a mess, but uh, we were able to cut this out and I cut a little trench around the inside so that this will slide into it and stay in place. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tape this as well, but uh, you could just hot glue it or tape it as it is and it will work just fine, just like that. So next step is tape it and then we're gonna cut a hole for this light bulb. We'll probably put the light bulb in the side uh, just so that it stays there when you take the lid off. Okay, it's been about five minutes and temperatures going up steadily. It's now 77 degrees in there. It's went up about 10 so far. Uh, there are no air holes in here yet. We probably will poke some air holes in eventually, but we're just going to test this first. Again, no eggs inside. Just trying to see how stable the temperature is and determine if uh, if this light bulb is too strong or not strong enough or what. It's probably, I don't know, halfway or one-third way up on the uh, dimmer. So we'll see what that settles to, if it's reasonable or not. All right, it's been 10 minutes. Now temperature is up to 84 degrees. At the same setting, haven't touched it, so let's see if it keeps going. The ideal temperature is 99 degrees, plus or minus 1 or 2 degrees. Alright, it's been about 30 minutes, and it's now at 99 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, you can see the humidity's dropped down quite a bit in there, so eventually we're going to have to add a little water to keep the humidity up. But, uh, we must be pretty close to thermal equilibrium now. We'll see, uh... We'll see if it keeps going up or if it stabilizes there. We might have just the right uh, light bulb setting here. But again, if we add air holes, we're going to have to turn that light up a bit. All right, the temperature is now about 104. At, uh, it's been an hour and a half. So we'll probably we'll have to turn that dimmer down just a little bit. Or maybe we'll use, uh, we'll use uh, some holes to help get some air circulating in there. Mm -hmm. 